Episode of Trying to Sound Fisherman. I just caught this nice about maybe pound, pound and a half on the Spro Junior. He inhaled that phone <laughs> right out there. I thought he was not on, did you? No. I, I thought he flopped off because my line was slack. I guess he was running towards me. Did he freaking you got it? Huh? Got it. Uh, got it. Spro Junior and Bass Junior. <laughs> no. A little pounder. Here's your lease or you know. It's tossing. No, I'll stick right here. This is an episode of Charlestown Fisherman. So I'm guessing three. We're going to go get my, my buddy's going to get scale. Caught him on the Spro Nash Chef Rock. Out Nash here, Nash just, just a little pond out here in the middle of hey, nowhere. Look, look at that hook set right there. See it on his top jaw? I had him hooked right there and out the top of his mouth. Pulled him straight through that trail. You can see the trail right there. Just yep. on this new, brand new through. Suffolk 65 pound braid I bought today. At Dude, he was, just, he was just cranking. He wasn't even, this fish head couldn't put up a fight against that braid. It's a good braid to get. Suffix 832 braid. I'm telling y'all, watch my review and buy you some. You will catch bass like this if you know how to use a frog. And All right, horses. here's the weight. I think it's 2.6. Thanks. Three and a half. 214, almost two three pounds. 214, almost three. Keep them two more ounces, it would have been three pounds. It's a nice one. Nice one. All nice right, one. this is the release of this uh, 214 largemouth bass caught on a spro frog. On six five pound braid stuff. We are releasing it down into my grandpa's pond from the other pond. We're trying to get bigger bass out here in the jeans mixing braids. Get the fish bigger. Let him go. He's a big one. He's getting used He's to this right new there, pond. Dude, look at him. He went under that grass. He's gonna get used to this new pond. Man, that's that's a that's a good bass, fellas, right there. 